Hi everyone, welcome back to Google Developer Shenanigans with Linda. And as always, I am Linda. Today I am going to give you five tips for uploading files to Google Drive using the Google Drive API. These are the questions that I am most often asked. And if you stay tuned until the end, I have a bonus tip for you as well. Tip number one. Uploading a file with the Google Drive API is done in two parts, the metadata and the actual file data. The metadata includes information about the file, such as its name, its description, parents, owners, and the MIME type. The file data is the actual contents of the file. To upload a file, you first need to create a file resource object with the metadata, once you have created the file resource object, you can then use the file uploader to upload the actual file data. So if you ever see a file uploaded called unnamed, it's because you have forgotten to add the file metadata. Tip number two. You can use the fields parameter to specify the file information you want returned. The file create method returns a file object with the information about the file that was uploaded. So you can use the fields parameter to specify which fields you want to be returned. For example, you can specify ID to be the only parameter returned if you need the file ID back. Or you can specify a star to return all of the file information. A bonus tip would be using the fields parameter, you can reduce the amount of data that is returned, which can improve the performance of your application. That's why I rarely use field star except in development. Tip number three creating files of Google Drive editor formats. When you upload a file to Google Drive, it is uploaded with the MIME type that you specify. However, you can also specify a Google Docs editor MIME type in the metadata to convert the file to a Google Docs editor format. This will allow you to then edit the file in Google Drive. For example, you can convert a CSV file to a Google Sheet. You would want to use the MIME type application vnd.googleapps.sheet in the metadata. To convert a PDF file to a Google Doc, you could specify a MIME type of application vnd Google Apps document. Once the file has been uploaded, you can then open it in Google Sheets or Google Drive. Tip number four, uploading files to specific directories. By default, files uploaded to Google Drive using the Google Drive API are placed in the root directory of the current user's account. However, you can upload files to specific directories as well as shared directories by adding the parents parameter to the metadata and specifying a folder ID. The parents parameter can also be an array so that you can upload the file to multiple directories at once. Tip number five, set the permissions for uploaded files. By default, uploaded files are owned by the user who uploaded them. If you're using a service account to upload the files, you may need to grant yourself permissions to see these files by using the permissions create method. A bonus tip, how to find a folder ID. I see this question a lot. There are two ways to find a folder ID in Google Drive. When you open a folder in the Google Drive web app, the URL in the address bar changes to something like folder uh, slash folder ID. The folder ID is the string of characters directly after folders slash. You could also use the files list method. 
you can use it to request a list of files with the MIME type of folder, that being application slash vnd.googleapps.folder. This response will include a list of all of the folders with their file ID. Just remember, you can use the queue parameter to search for the file name or the folder name that you're looking for. Well, that's it. I hope this helps. These are just a few simple tips that I have found useful over the years working with uploading files to Google Drive. As always, I hope you have a great day. Bye.